hello you are welcome how to find x in this nice algebra equation from here we can square both sides we have square root of 96 plus square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x then equals to 10 so when we square everything from here and we square this side as well we square both sides then the square we cancel the square root here then this will be called 96 plus square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x then equals to 10 square will give us 100 and uh, from here, let's take 96 to this side and uh, it becomes minus. So we have square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x to be equal to 100 minus 96. And we have 100 minus 96 here to be 4. So we have square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x will then be equals to 4 the next step take the square from both sides again the square both side then the square also cancel the square root here we have 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of x which is equals to 4 square that's 16 and uh, from here we take 13 to this side again so we have square root of 7 plus square root of x equals to 16 minus 13 and 16 minus 13 there give us 3 so we have square root of 7 plus square root of x then give us 3 then square both sides again in order to remove this square root Square, remove the square root here remains 7 plus root x equals to 3 square will give us 9 also we can take 7 to this side and we have root x equals to 9 minus 7 and from here we have root x equals to 9 minus 7 here give us 2 then we can take the square again on both sides so we square this side we square this side then square cancel square root x here is equals to 4 so we get the value of x to be 4 from here then to check if this value of x satisfy the equation given so we can put x there we have square root of 96 plus square root of 13 plus square root of 7 plus square root of 4 now and uh, is this equals to 10 so when we look at this square root of 4 here is 2 so we can say this is square root of 96 plus square root of 13 plus square root of 7 then we have square root of 4 to be 2 that's square root of 7 plus 2 is this equals to 10 from here then when we look at this we have root root 7 plus 2 there is same thing as root 9 and root 9 is 3 so we can bring 3 here now and uh, everything here will be 3 so we now have square root of 96 plus square root of 13 plus 3 and also is this equals to 10 so from here 13 plus 3 give us 16 and square root of 16 is 4 so we can say this is square root of 96 plus 4 is it equals to 10 and square root of 96 plus 4 that is square root of 100 so we have root 100 is it equals to 10 yes of course root 100 we have 10 so this is 10 equals to 10 the left hand side equals to the right hand side therefore we can conclude from here that the value of x in this problem is 4.
Thank you for watching. Please share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on. See you next class and bye for now.